Cause your dream might save us all I started making records in 74, 75, and you know, back then it was, it was just like, if I could make a record, I, that's all the vision I had. The Baptist Church in uh, Savannah, Georgia was the, where the Underground Railroad went through, and, and then uh, Sun Studios is where uh, Elvis and Roy Orbison and Johnny Cash uh, recorded their first records, and uh, and then of course room four one four at the Gunter Hotel is where Robert Johnson in the 30s recorded uh, some of his greatest songs. Well, I guess down here in the West End, broken promises and now and then. It only has one song uh, that's pretty politically motivated. And it's a song called The West End. It's kind of veiled in in the uh, idea that it's about a small town, but it's really about this country. And live in small town. Probably die in small town. I think that for the mess that was left here, I think he's slowly digging his way out or in. I don't I can't tell yet. That was something a bunch of people dreamt up and I didn't even really dignify it with answering any questions about it. The internet is the most dangerous thing invented since the atomic bomb. Mm. It's a dangerous thing that's happening. Um, look at what it's destroyed already in our country. It's destroyed, it's destroyed the music business. It's going to destroy the movie business. And grooving was grooving, and dancing meant everything. I do things my way, and I pay an awfully high price. Uh, a lot of people like it, a lot of people hate it. All I can do is sing about it. You know, that's all I'm supposed to do. I'm a barroom singer, you know. Educated in a small town. Taught to fear Jesus in a small town. I'm damn sure to know that a lot of kids got drunk to my songs and danced to them. <laughs> so there's value in that. Brought to die in a small town. Oh, that's probably where the bear remains.